Greetings and welcome to the closing night of the Galway Film Flower, an annual event in which we hand out awards, accolades and indulge in a little shameless self-promotion and congratulation, which this year in particular is extremely well earned. Unless you've been living under a rock, you already know that the festival went online this year uh, for the first time ever. And in the space of three months, the Flower team went from knowing very little about how to host an online festival to producing the extraordinary digital event that it's been everyone's pleasure and privilege to take part in. No one knew if this voyage into the unknown would work or not, but it really and truly has been an unqualified success. Um, the hashtag FilmFlower alone has reached over 5 million people online, which is tremendous. Uh, we've screened 40 new feature films, of which 10 were world premieres, no less than 10 very full and busy programmes of incredible short films, um, the One Minute Film Festival, talks, panel discussions, with people participating from so many countries, it's been astonishing. Uh, there were panellists from Luxembourg, Canada, Germany, Spain, Paris, Los Angeles, Greece, Moscow, and even Yangon in Myanmar. And we were wondering what on earth people in Yangon are doing looking at us here in Galway, but we're very happy that they did. Um, closer to home, we had online screenings for our national audience, which were programmed very much in the same way that the physical festival is programmed, because the goal always was to try and recreate the feeling of being in Galway at the FLA and to maintain our audience and to engender, if possible, the strong sense of community that makes the Galway Film Flower, such a unique event. Uh, we had a, So we had an opening night, we're having a closing night tonight, and it was a fantastic moment when suddenly on the opening night film, everyone started clicking at the same time uh, in considerable numbers. And uh, it's hard to believe, but it worked. It really, really worked. And we felt the support of the community behind us the whole way. And with your help, we pulled it off. Um, in partnership with Galway 2020, we went ahead with our presentation of Peripheral Visions, a competition of films co-curated by 12 partner festivals from Iceland to Athens and from Hamburg to Helsinki. Um, the winner will be announced very shortly by our programmer, Will, will Fitzgerald, excuse me, Will. Um, he has been the hardest working programmer in Ireland this week, no question. Um, huge thanks to Galway 2020 for being our partners in what we hope will be an ongoing and important collaboration with these brilliant international festivals. Uh, we're also very grateful, as always, to the Arts Council, who were extremely supportive of our move online right from the get-go. Uh, their continuing help, support, and most of all, their enthusiasm and their encouragement means so much to us and to our audience. I must also thank Screen Ireland for their ongoing support, as well as TG Cahar, Creative Europe, Fulcher Ireland, Northern Ireland Screen, Galway City Council, Screen Skills Ireland, and the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland. Last, but by no means least, I'd like to thank the small army of loyal filmmakers who stayed with us and came with us on this odyssey. I hope they are as pleased with the happy results as the audiences have been. I guess three words could sum up the motto for this year's flower, adapt or die. Never known to shy away from a challenge, Miriam Allen and her team rose to the occasion like a magnificent souffle. And here we are, at the end of a glorious week of powerful, innovative and beautiful storytelling. I'm going to be back soon to help carry on with the celebrations on this closing night, but in the meantime, I would like to hand you over to the director of the Arts Council, Maureen Kennelly. Thanks so much, Kate. I'm delighted to have this opportunity to say a few words as you bring the 32nd FLA to a close. First off, I want to congratulate Miriam Allen, Will Fitzgerald, and all your brilliant team for your heroic efforts in bringing this most unusual of additions to your public. 
I know that when COVID-19 hit, you were well into your planning cycle. To have had to plow in and undo and unravel those plans is a really counterintuitive measure. To have had to think on your feet so imaginatively and so quickly as you grapple with uncertainties, which of course still prevail, absorbs huge amounts of your emotional and intellectual energy. And I applaud you for carrying your excellent programme to this stage and for making sure that your loyal public has access to films of the highest quality. Galway Film Flat is a really important part of the film infrastructure in Ireland and the Arts Council very much values our partnership with you. I've direct knowledge and experience myself of how important it is to the local and national environment from the time I lived in Galway in the mid 90s. Back then, I had the good fortune to assist Sadie Mackey in her great work on the Junior Galway Film Fla. And it's wonderful to see that this most important festival endures and prospers. We recognize the essential nature of this platform for young people. Over the last six days, filmmakers and audiences have been responding in great numbers and have come together as a virtual community to watch films and to listen to Q and A's and very engaging panel discussions on film and filmmaking. And while of course, it's no replacement for the usual in-person events, it has created a unique camaraderie and a sense of solidarity as we all continue to face these new challenges. Your Sterling programme has transported us into other worlds, to suburban Iceland in Agnes Joy, to regional Germany in No Hard Feelings, and to Sarajevo in Sympathy for the Devil. And you've remained true to yourselves in being a platform for Irish film showcasing the work of filmmakers at all stages of their careers. <clears throat> it's been a particular delight for the Arts Council to see Pat Collins' beautifully considered Henry Glassy field work receive its Irish premiere here earlier on today. This film received funding through the Arts Council's Open Call Award. That's one of the most sig significant awards we've made in recent years. Great too to see those great film artists Christine Malloy and Joe Lawler bring their singular approach to Rose Plays Julie on Thursday evening. And it's most fitting that the flower will close tonight with Tom Sullivan's powerfully engaging Aracht, a film in Irish made in Connemara. I've been told that this features standout performance from Don O'Healy and Sasha Quinn, amongst others. Cogor the Gus Moor Dave Galair, Agson Gothin, a Ve Parthiglesh and it's a tribute to your great imagination and resilience to pull this off. I hope it won't be too long before we can all celebrate your achievements in person. Thanks, Maureen. And now the moment you have all been waiting for, the highlight of the week, the handing out of the awards, which this year is going to be done by our hardworking programmer, the one and only Will Fitzgerald. Thank you, Kate. Now, for those of you who've been watching uh, along with us all week at home, you know that our jury has had their work cut out for them this week. Um, I want to thank again Keith Carradine, Kirsten Smith, Michael Smiley, Alison Anders, Vanilla Flanagan, Ruth Nega, Lorne Callag, Liam Cunningham and Stuart Forrest for their time, their good humour and their continued commitment to the art of film and to nurturing our filmmakers here at the FLA. Some hard decisions had to be made, but now the time has come to announce the winners. And we're going to begin with our International Short Film Awards. And so, the winner of the Best International Short Documentary Award is No Crying at the Dinner Table by Carol Nguyen. Here's Carol. Hello, Ireland. I'm Carol, I'm the director of No Crying at the Dinner Table, and we have some of our crew members at the back here. Charles in the driver's seat, Alan in the back. We're just coming back, woo, the exposure. We're just coming back <laughs> from camping. So hence all the stuff and the saltines on the floor. Thank you so much for the award and we wish we could have been there. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. And now for the winner of our Best International Short Fiction Award. And the winner of this award is White Eye by Tomer Shushan. Here's Tomer. Hello, everyone, and good evening. Um, my name is Tomer Shushan. I am the film director of the short film White Eye. 
I would like to say thank you very much for choosing this film and give the best short international film award. It's such an amazing feeling and a great, great honor to know that um, this creation is appreciated by others and to know that this story can affect other people from all over the world. It's mean a lot to me and um, also I would like to say thank you for making this festival anyway online. Um, even though I'm a bit sad that I couldn't be there and experience this festival, um, I really hope that um, I'm gonna come back um, there in the future with my next films. So thank you very much and good night. Thank you, Tamer. And now we're on to our Best International Short Animation Award. And the winner of Best International Short Animation is To the Dusty Sea by Eloise Ferlet. Here's Eloise. Hello, Galway Film Fred. I am Eloise Ferlet, the filmmaker for To the Dusty Sea. And I wanted to thank you very, very much for giving me this award for Best Animation. This is the world for me and uh, for my team, so we are really glad and uh, we thank you very much. Uh, I'm so touched that you were touched by my uh, little Zoe and my little Malo and their mother. Uh, if you want to write me about them, feel free, I, I will answer, I would be very happy. And uh, I can't wait to make another movie and uh, send it again and I really hope to meet you in real one day. Thank you for making this happen and thank you for everything. See you soon! Huh. Thank you Eloise, thank you Tamer and thank you Carol. Thank you so much for being part uh, of our festival here in Galway. Um, and for submitting to us your great films. And now we're going to hand out the um, short film awards uh, in our Irish category, and we're going to start with our debut Irish filmmakers. For many of these filmmakers, this was their very first time uh, playing their film in front of an audience. I'm glad it was you. And the winner of the Best Debut Short Fiction Award is Jesse Gilbert for Ballast. Uh, Jesse couldn't be with us this evening, but I'd like you to know that the judges emphasized Jessie's great photography, her amazing visual transitions, how her short felt very sure-handed directorially, and had a fantastic ending. They praised how it took a small story and made it feel big. So, again, well done, Jessie, uh, on your short ballast. And now for animation, and the winner of the Best Debut Short Animation Award is Leo Crowley for Dead Hands of Dublin. And I think we've got Leo on the line. Leo! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Winner of the Best Debut Short Animation Award for Dead Hands of Dublin. Congratulations. Well, thank you so much. This is, I'm very bamboozled by all this, I have to say. Um, <laughs> just have to give much love to the FLA, to Screen Ireland, RTE, and all my Pincon crew, Eve and Eve, Rory, um, just everyone, uh, Dara Black, who did the music, Dara Black Hines, who did the music, and Jim Norton, the mighty Jim Norton, who did the voiceover on it. It's incredible. I'm completely nervous. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> very <laughs> red here, but uh, I really appreciate uh, being a part of Galway Film Fair this year, and this was amazing. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, Leo. And the award's going to be in the post. Um, and just so you know, the judges emphasized um, that it was a charming tale on the Mephistopheles story with a nod to Jack the Ripper. And they also emphasized how Jim Norton's narration was superb. Um, a dark warning, beautifully delivered. Again, Leo, well done. Thanks a million. Beautiful, thank you very much. See you all, have a great night. Cheers. So uh, uh, to everyone watching at home, before we move on to our Oscar qualifying awards, here's a little taster um, of the full range of short films that played at this year's Goi Film Fla. Okay, uh, and it's time for our Oscar qualifying awards. Uh, the winners in these three categories 
will qualify for Oscar consideration in 2021 without the standard theatrical run. So we have fingers crossed for the winners in all of these categories. Starting with the award for Best Short Fiction, or the Tina McBride Award, as it's traditionally known, and this year's winner, in association with Network Ireland Television, is The Invisible Boy by James Fitzgerald. And I think James is already uh, with us on screen. James, can you hear me? Uh, I can, yeah, Well, Can you hear me? I can. Congratulations. Cheers. Thank you so much. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's an absolute honour, so thank you so much. It's a little bit... Uh, a little bit shocked, but uh, yeah, I yeah, thank you so much to the Goy Film Fla. I'm so happy that it, uh, yeah, it was a long road getting this this short finished. So I'd I'd like to thank my producer Seamus Waters, a lot, uh, Helen Kenny from Sunny in London, and Christiana and Catherine from Anorak in Germany for all helping get this film off the ground. It was a uh, yeah, it was a tough one. And uh, all the guys in Raygun, all the guys in Windmill Lane everybody that chipped in and Stephen Rennix as well for his music. So uh, yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Thanks a million, James, and well done again. The award's in the post. And uh, now we're moving on to animation. And the winner. Uh, no, it turns out we're not moving on to uh, the short animation award. We have, we have a trailer uh, of The Invisible Boy. Here's a short clip from uh, James's winning film, The Invisible Boy. My sister, Italy. Okay, so we have trailers for the next. It. I've just been doing around, you know, asking people to uh, tell me if they see her. there from The Invisible Boy, uh, directed by James Fitzgerald, again, winner of the Tierney McBride Award uh, for uh, Best Short Fiction at this year's Film Flaw. Well done again. And now, now it is actually time for animation. And the winner of the James Horgan Award for Best Short Animation at this year's Goy Film Flaw is Tot, directed by Fiona McLaughlin, Tom Getty, and Amy Kirkham Priester. And I think I'm joined by Fiona and Tom. Is that right? Hi, guys. Yes, we're here. Can you hear and, us all right? And Amy sends her her, her regards. <laughs> yes, glad you're Thank you so much. We're, we're thrilled. Thrilled a bit. Yeah, my heart's racing. Um, we absolutely didn't expect this at all. Um, like, thank you so much to Galway Film Flat, to NI Screen, to BFI, to every single person that helped out in this film. Like, we're absolutely delighted. Yeah. Great yeah. stuff, guys. Any celebrations do you think you'll be able to get to tonight, or wow. has lockdown taken that off the table? There's a few bottles of wine downstairs that'll that'll be worked on, let's say. Yeah. Brilliant. That sounds good. <laughs> but listen, the award is in the post. Uh, we'll see it for a physical festival in the near future, I hope. Uh, much continued success with the short, and uh, now we're going to watch uh, a short clip. Thanks very much.
again that there was Tot, well done to the winners. Um, and you can check out all of the winning short films as part of a newly created uh, winning short film package available at GalwayFilmFla.com uh, at the end of the award ceremony. Um, but before we get to that, we're going to move on to the winner of the Best Short Documentary Award, our latest Oscar qualifying award in association with TG Car. And the winner of the Best Short Documentary Award is How to Fall in Love in a Pandemic by Michael David McKernan. Michael, how are we doing? Hi, how's it going? Well? Congratulations. Thanks so much. Um, God, absolutely stunned. Um, and uh, this is the weirdest Zoom I've done all pandemic. <laughs> but, um, um, I just want to say thanks so much to you guys at Galway, um, especially Eve Collins for being just the best programmer ever. Um, and thank you to the Arts Council for supporting the film and uh, to Dahi Odroni and Melty Brains for doing music um, and to my friends who watched early drafts and told me to make this film and um, and to Mimi, of course, as well, who taught me some keyboard shortcuts and uh, was just a total inspiration uh, for this whole experience. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done. Uh, congratulations again. Award is in the post. Um, I hope you feel great relief and a great sense of celebration this evening. Um, and right now we're going to watch uh, a clip from How to Fall in Love in a Pandemic. At a time when most people were being kept apart, we were pushed together. And after knowing each other for about two weeks, we were forced to move in together. And now, uh, moving on from our short film awards, it's time to hand out some individual awards. Um, each year, the Galway Film Flash script pitching competition emphasizes that good writing is still the backbone of the audiovisual sector. Now, this morning, 10 finalists pitched their project to a panel of judges and to you, the audience at home, um, and the standard was extremely high. In fact, the judges said that any of the finalists could have been worthy winners. They said, we trust the platform the pitching competition will give a deserved boost to each of the projects, but the winner, who stood out for her natural engaging delivery, originality of her idea and her evocative use of language is Alice McDowell for her project Rain Song. The judges applaud Ireland's own rain refugee and wish her only the best for her future. Alice. Hi there. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, thank you so much. I'm, I'm totally shocked. Totally. Because I mean, I watched all the other pitches and the, yeah, the standard was really high and for, the, for me this was just something to make me start talking about the film um and make me start speaking publicly which has always been challenging so i'm just thank you so much for giving me the opportunity um yeah i'm a bit stunned and i'm sitting here at home and it's raining and it's beautiful and i have a glass of wine <laughs> so it's uh it's perfect how apt uh congratulations again um, I am eager to hear how the development of the project comes along. Um, sure, you're only down the road. We'll be chatting about it, I'm sure, uh, in the near future. Thanks again, and congratulations again, uh, Alice McDowell. Thanks, Will. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so from screenwriting, we're moving on to acting, animation, producing, and directing. All categories for which our Bingham Ray New Talent Award nominees have been chosen this year. The nominees for this year's Bingham Ray New Talent Award are James Fitzgerald, director, The Invisible Boy, Ping Kong Studios' Neve Herity and Aoife Doyle, producer and lead animator, The Dead Hands of Dublin, Lauren Coe, actor, Nocturnal, and Emma Foley and Tamron Reinecke, producers, Redemption of a Rogue, and Edwina Casey, director of Algorithm and producer of Here Are the Young Men. A fine bunch of talents, uh, many of these projects are still available to check out on goifilmfla.com before midnight tonight if you have the opportunity. But the winner, in association with Magnolia Pictures of the Bingham Ray New Talent Award, is Edwina Casey. <laughs> Hi. 
<laughs> I hear the giggling coming through, so I think you can hear me. Hey, Adriana. <laughs> um, sorry, it's just like a total shock. Um, um, wow, like amazing, like all the other nominees were incredible. James, Aoife, Neve, uh, Lauren, Emma, Tamron, like I'm just in shock. <laughs> <laughs> um, and look, thanks so much to, you know, the two very different productions and Lara Hickey and Samnash Brown of Algorithm and uh, Owen Macken from Here the Old Men and most importantly, my partner, Richard Bulger. <laughs> <My Brilliant>. <laughs> so tell us what's next for both your projects. Uh, any ideas for Algorithm and for Here the Young Men? Yeah, uh, Al Algorithm's uh, got a few festivals coming up. Uh, next month and uh, here are the young men we, it's, it's starting to do the rounds now so it's going to about five festivals in the next couple of months all all online so yeah really really excited just to get them all out there and you know um, yeah hopefully get a good response from audiences oh by the way and thank you so much to Goy and the jury so <laughs> <laughs> uh, our pleasure again well done um, on two amazing projects uh, much continued success with them and uh, the awards in the post. Um, <laughs> thanks a million, Adriana. Okay, bye. Thanks. So on. Okay, um, now with the, those awards handed out, we're going to move on to our feature film awards. So this year we were delighted to host the inaugural Peripheral Visions Film Competition, a pilot project uh, by the newly formed Europa Film Festivals Network, taking place in in place of our traditional uh, international awards, each of the 12 nominated films were nominated by festivals from around Europe. Uh, we hope to tour the winning film through Galway City and County uh, later in the year as part of our uh, Galway 2020 international, uh, sorry, European capital of culture. And that winning film is River Tales by Julie Schral. <laughs> Yay! Hi, Julie! <laughs> Hi, yay! <laughs> Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's very good news. I'm very happy. And also good to hear that the film will um, travel around Ireland. That's our goal. Uh, congratulations on making a fantastic documentary. Um, I know it was nominated by the Luxembourg Film Festival, um, where I got it also had a, a fantastic reaction. Have you got future plans for the film from here? Uh, yeah, I hope that this will open uh, more doors. Um, unfortunately, with the, the COVID situation, it's a bad year for starting a festival ca career. But there will be, uh, yeah, hopefully more uh, things to come. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to thank very much the festival in Galway and uh, Alexis Junkosa from the Luxembourg Film Festival and the film fund in Luxembourg who made this film possible and the whole crew of the film of course and uh, yeah crazy adventure i'm happy that the film um, made it here i'm actually very very surprised and um yeah more than happy great stuff thank you so much julie and i'll remind our audience is watching at home as well that uh, River Tales is still available uh, to rent at goifilmpod.com until midnight tonight. You only have until midnight to add it to your library and then the festival is over. Julie, congratulations. Um, again, we'll be uh, touring that film through uh, local film clubs in Galway City and County later this year. Uh, it's all part of our Galway 2020 uh, Capital of Culture project. Uh, which includes the launch of the Europa Festivals Network and this year's Peripheral Visions competition, um, of which River Tales is the winner. So congratulations again to Julie. And now I think we're ready to move on to our Irish Feature Film Awards. 17 new Irish features screened as part of this year's Goa Film Trois, including 10 world premieres. Um, this festival was founded as a platform for Irish filmmakers to exhibit their work to their peers. Um, we're proud to continue that tradition, um, radical uh, transition, though you know this year's uh, festival has gone through. And all these films, I think you can agree, are amazing. Um, but again, some hard decisions had to be made. And we'll start with the winner of the Best Irish Documentary Award, which goes to Henry Glassy, Fieldwork. Um, and right now I'm actually joined by, oh, there he is, director Pat Collins. And uh, <laughs> from Indiana, there is uh, Henry Glassy himself. How are we doing, fellas? Congratulations. That's great, Will. Thanks very much. Way to go, Pat. 
Pat, Pat Collins did a fantastic <laughs> job with this film, and he deserves a lot more than this, but I'm glad that he gets this. Pat? So am I. Well done, Pat. Thanks very much. And uh, I'd just like to thank uh, the Arts Council, uh, who funded this film through the Open Call Award, and the Irish Film Board, or Screen Ireland, uh, who, who were uh, both the Arts Council and Screen Ireland co-funded it together. And it was, uh, I think it was, it was a great, um, it was great for us, you know, that, that they both came together from this. And uh, I'd just like to thank some of the crew, Bob and uh, Colm Hogan, uh, and producer Tina Riley, the executive producer uh, Philip King, and the editor um, Keith Walsh, and uh, Linda Cohen, Tom Roman, and uh, and specifically Henry Glassy and Praveena Shockley, because there, there wouldn't be a film without them. And uh, it was a fantastic honour to 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 make to make the film and to spend time with Henry and Praveena. And I think um, I'm just delighted to get the opportunity to make to make a, a film about about Henry's work. It's, uh, it was a huge learning experience for me and I'm very, very happy to, and thanks Will and thanks to Galway Film Club as well for per persevering with the, with the festival. And I think it was a great idea to keep going. Um, so well done to yourselves as well. Uh, thank so you so much. Thanks Pat. very much for everything. Um, thanks for joining us, I say, Henry. I'm so, I'm so happy for Pat Collins, a wonderful man. I was delighted to work with him. But I want to send out to uh, Vincent Woods and Pat McCabe a lot of love from Indiana. Thank you so much for that. Um, for those who missed our Q&A earlier, um, I highly recommend you catch up on the film at goifilmfile.com and watch back our Q&A with Pat and Henry, um, where Henry beautifully articulates what a, what a wonderful celebration uh, this documentary is um, of art, um, of creativity, of people. Um, and here's actually a little snippet from the film uh, before we move on to our next award. Thanks again, guys, and congratulations. Thank you so much, Will. Thanks. study people at all. I stand with people and study the things that they create. That's what interests me. What do they choose to present as emblems of their being? Art might be the telling of stories. It might be the plowing of a beautiful field. It might be the building of a fine house. It might be the making of a great dinner. Whatever materials I choose, whatever medium I choose, whatever vehicle, whatever genre, that doesn't matter. What matters is the, is the passion of devotion. Call it art, call it folklore, but that's what it is. A momentary fulfillment of what it is to be human. Okay, uh, Henry Glassy field work there. Again, highly recommend you check that out and go on filmfile.com. And now moving into the realm of fiction. And it is time for our first uh, Irish Feature Award. Our first Feature Award serves to highlight the work of new and emerging filmmakers. We are proud to serve as a discovery ground for these uh, wonderful new films and filmmakers. And we hope that these films have a long and prosperous journey um, after their debut here in Galway. And so, with that said, the winner of the best first Irish feature, it's Redemption of a Rogue. Uh, producers uh, Emma Foley and Tamron Reinicke, who I believe are joining me now on the line. Hi, Emma and Tamron. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, we're not together. We're separate and apart, but we, I think we both wish we were together right now, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> this congratulations. is insane. <laughs> um, I bizarre but wonderful <laughs> um incredible uh we we're we're extremely proud of the film and extremely proud of the team and um, that we that you, you know we got to work with to make this film and i think a huge thank you to screen ireland and cabin county council um 
for for their support through this whole process and uh for Bill, Bill for trusting us to <laughs> make uh, his fabulous script and uh wild card like all those guys have been incredibly supportive and it's yeah, been a real whirlwind I think for for everyone to get this far it's been a year and a half of really hard work and um blood blood sweat and tears uh, and a lot of rain as everyone saw so <laughs> I think um we're really thankful to come out the other side um and really really delighted so thank you so much to Galway we we really appreciate it and we're so glad you guys went online this year and the scramble to get in to get our film ready on time was so worth it <laughs> we're glad you scrambled <laughs> We're glad you scrambled to get it done. It had an amazing reaction last night. Um, I wish I could tell people they could go still check it out, but the film is one of the ones that's sold out already, so Yay! I'm afraid they cannot. Um, but congratulations again, guys. An amazing achievement, like you said. So creative, so original, uh, and you guys knocked it out of the park. Um, here's a look at Redemption of a Rogue. Thank you. The powers that be, or should I say the powers that pee, are still pissing down on Ballyloft here in Cavan. A tale a great deluge falls into my mind. A tale from the gutter. Hey, but even in the sewers of the world, all humans have a craving for life. Hey, Can I help you with something? <laughs> sounded like we had some uh, premature celebrations there but uh i can understand why people are excited because it's time to announce the winner of the best irish film at the 2020 goy film fla and the winner is okay this hasn't happened in a while the winner of the best Irish film is Redemption of a Rogue. Um, and so, so I've still got producers, Emma Foley, Tamron Ranika on the line, and I'm joined now by director Philip Doherty as well, who also has more people with him. I'll let him introduce them. Congratulations, guys. Oh. Thanks. There's Kieran. There's Aaron. Hi, guys. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Congratulations again to everyone. Philip, tell us how you're feeling. Oh my God, thank you so much. I'm absolutely thrilled and delighted over the moon. Thank you so much, God, God all the film fly. I, I can't believe it. And um, I just, big thanks to all the people that helped make this have an arts office for believing in the project and the arts community in Cavan, like this is on behalf of everyone that pulled together to make this film. I'm absolutely thrilled. Goromila Bahagi, thank you so much. I'm just over the moon. Top all your road. Let's hear from some of the others. Aaron, the star of this film, how does it feel? Yeah, yeah that's amazing. That's thrilling. I'm, I'm in Cavan uh, with my nephew, oh, Sean, who plays the younger me in the film at one point. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I'm thrilled. I'm I'm really glad to be part of this. Well done to Emma and Tamron, to Phil, and uh, and all the amazing cast and an incredible crew that put an amazing movie together. Well done Thanks to you, so Pal. Much. You were incredible. Yeah, the hero of the film. Full of us. Kieran, what's your reaction? Yeah. Oh, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, chuffed. I'm just so happy for everybody. I'm actually going to go watch the movie with my family now after this. So this is a real yes. nice thing to tell them beforehand. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, a bit, bit nervous, a bit shocked. I'm just so happy um, for everyone that made it happen. I love the movie. Um, yeah, that, that's it. I'm just delighted. I'm really happy. Fantastic. Thanks so much. Phil, who have you got there with you? I've got um, my girlfriend, Siobhan Harton, my Hi. brother, production designer, Joe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done, Joe. The with the art director and, uh, and lots of drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad someone's going to be celebrating. Congratulations again. Uh, the award is in the post. Uh, it's been a while since we've had an Irish film that picked up uh, two awards in the same night, but it's so well deserved. Uh, congratulations again to Team Redemption of a Rogue. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 
Okay, so for those watching at home, uh, that brings uh, to a close pretty much our uh, award ceremony for Film Plot 2020. Um, and um, it comes with a, <laughs> a little pitch of sadness that it's, it's all over. Uh, we've had a week full of amazing films, amazing talks, fantastic filmmakers who were generous enough to share their films with us in this insane year. Um, again, a whole selection of those films are still available at GalwayFilmPlot.com. You need to add those films into your online library before midnight when sadly they're all going to disappear back into the digital realm uh, from which they came. Um, also be sure to check out our winning uh, short film package which is now available on the website as well. Um, a curated program of just the winning short films uh, that you can watch and enjoy if you haven't seen those shorts already. Um, thank you so much to our entire festival team who helped us pull this out of the bag and to pivot our entire festival online this year. Uh, thanks to our funders, as Kate has already said, we couldn't have done this without you. Um, I'm so grateful, again, to the filmmakers, to you, the audiences. Um, my name is Will Fitzgerald, it's been a pleasure. Um, and here again to play us out in place of their traditional slot at the Rowing Club is the Galway Street Club. Thanks again.
congratulations to all the winners and please come back next year with more of your beautiful beautiful films and thank you to will thank you to miriam allen for pulling it all together um barbara mcdonough the tech expert all the lads behind the cameras and the computers and so many people to thank kathy o'connor deirdre i mean you know who you are and i'm sure you're all sick and tired of listening to the thank yous so now we get to the very important and crucial part which is a glorious toast to everybody involved in this year's flower cheers <laughs> oh no glass what'll i do